types of pipelines. There are actually three different types, and this causes some people confusion, especially people who've worked in a DevOps environment before. These pipelines look an awful lot like CI/CD pipelines. Are they or aren't they? Traditionally, a CI/CD pipeline does a very simple set of things. It builds some code, it tests some code, and then once everything's passed, it publishes some code. That's what a CI/CD pipeline does. We've taken the, the concepts of CI/CD pipelines and extended them. So the first thing we do is completely standard development pipelines. We do do building and testing and publishing our own internal stuff. We're also doing this, for example, for talent jobs. So we are building talent jobs all the way through from source, all the way through to talent artifacts and then publishing them back into talent cloud as a part of a completely standard CICD pipeline. So we're not losing any of the capabilities of a normal CICD pipeline. What we are doing is adding to them. The second type of pipeline is a deployment pipeline. And what that means, if you consider something like an API services layer, that doesn't move data around when you run a pipeline. That's something that's always running. It's much, much like a web server. If you think about this pipeline I showed, that pipeline runs. In the running of that pipeline, we moved and transformed a whole bunch of data. The pipeline exits and the data is in its destination stage, and then it stays there until the next execution of the pipeline. With a real-time system, like an API gateway or an ESB or something, it's always there responding to user requests. So the pipeline here is to build it and deploy it in whatever environment it's running on. It stays deployed and running forever until we come to build and redeploy it again. And then the third one is the actual data pipelines, which is what we've shown here, which is where the pipeline itself is actually moving data from left to right. And ultimately, we showed one, but in practical terms, you probably have multiple pipelines. You might have an hourly one, a daily one. Some customers have got some massive reference data sets. They only load once a week. Other customers have got some very intensive testing that they wouldn't want to do hourly. So let's say, for example, you've got three big tables that you want to ensure you have reference integrity between, and they're a billion rows each. To run that test is a non-trivial amount of time. You would not want to run that hourly, maybe not even daily, but you would want to once a week just do a check and balance and say, hey, has anything drifted apart in terms of reference integrity? And there's no real limits to what you can do here. You can create as many pipelines as you like that do whatever subsets of functions you like.